Hello my dear students, welcome to this tutorial where we will create this flashlight in Fusion 360 and of course we will have a different challenges for example this pattern here and um, also we will create some threads and a lot of cuts and um, yeah we will see during the working process what we have to do. I um, prepared some images for that so um, when you find it in Teams just some details of here the, the threads and it would help us to create of course I give you some measurements of course for all this stuff but so you get a better idea how it will look like okay let's get right into it we will insert a canvas insert from my computer and I have here my flashlight split too I select this bottom plane here and I don't care about the sizing because I will do it perfectly in a second so I just rotate it 90, degree, 90 degrees and hit OK and then I open up here my canvas and right click and say calibrate I switch here to the top view and I have a rough measurement from here to somewhere here and this thing is 70 mil uh, yeah 70 millimeters not 700 70 And I try to reposition it a little bit, um, not calibrate. It escaped to get out of it. Um, edit canvas so that I'm more or less here going through the middle line. So the first thing that we will do is this my light shade here in the front and because we we, we uh, will create three different parts always be sure that you always create new components okay that's important and will help you to have your project structured and um, yeah don't forget this new component I name it shade and you see here my parent is the unsaved file is selected here that's fine and so now my shade is here active and I'm working with all the sketches here in this shade then we'll create our first sketch on this plane here switch here to top view and I start with some lines I have measurements here and you see it snaps to the axis and I start from somewhere here to somewhere here and we got 35 millimeters don't move it uh, you see it's not fitting perfectly to the image but that's actually normal because when you take photos you have a perspective distortion and so it will never fit perfectly of course you can scale your canvas image a little bit so that it fits better but um, of course I have the lamp here next to me and I can take the measurements so of course I work here accurate and not perfectly from the image it should just help to see that which form should uh, be there in the end then we got even more lines here from this point 13 millimeters then be sure that construction lines off okay another one from here 
here 90 degree angle angle in 10 millimeters then from here to here I take somewhere 15 of course I can split this up but um, I need then here a middle point I do another line here it takes 10 and this one I press X uh, because this is just a construction line it should help me then uh, to create this kind of form and I, I do this in a different way because yeah uh, from my construction line you see here it jumps to the middle of this line and that's what we want and I do a line here one millimeter press X to make it a construction line again and um, because I know that this should be four so we do it really accurate and then we have our one hundred and thirty five degrees angle and I take this and mirror this to the other side so select both of them say mirror select the mirror line this one okay so i have perfectly um constrained stuff here you see here with the symbols that the things are uh, constrained to each other and my final line from here to here and i'm happy with my first profile so finish the sketch and we will do um, revolve take this one then take the right axis perfect and hit ok so now what about this lines here there we will create some further sketches or even mm, switch back here in my view and edit my sketch again and what you can do and quite easy I draw a line from here to here, 10 millimeters. And I just want this to be a construction line because I just need the position here. And <clears throat> so I just draw a line. It doesn't matter how long it is. And then I offset this one because the second rail is three millimeters away from this so two lines finish the sketch and then I split my body with these lines uh, not the body the faces be aware that you take the split face tool I have it here in my toolbar of course you find it here in the split face and when you want to have it in the toolbar because I use it quite often then pin it to the toolbar so split face then I have my face here selected splitting tool I take the first line and you see here it's extending the splitting hit OK and the second time split face select the faces then splitting tool the second line and okay now I have two rails here that's the reason why I did this and so easy to do this cuts select this profile here and go to create pipe then check here the options so everything's fine here uh, section size two millimeters the operation set to cut and nothing else has to be done okay and again 
you could also right click repeat pipe settings are the same okay so we have our fitted stuff here and the second cutouts and therefore we need an offset plane so we construct construct offset plane take this one and I just push it somewhere here okay I just want to have it closer um, could be here or here or even uh, drawn here so don't matter where just somewhere near to this position and then I select this new plane and say create sketch and switch here to this view then I create a line mm, maybe maybe well we take 20 this should be oh And you forgot to give it a dimension then go to press D for a dimension tool press X on the keyboard because it's just for construction stuff and then I create a circle mm, maybe 13.5 is cool here um, it should just be a little bit of distance between here so you can also make it a little bit bigger or smaller it's just that you get the, the thing good finish sketch and then I take this profile and create an extrude I just push it in this direction and you see it's cutting out out of my light shade here and because my operation is already set to cut hit ok and I'm happy with that and now I need six of these um, cuts and for that I just go to create pattern circular pattern and here I set the type not to faces or bodies I set it to features because I can select here different things I have done before and so I just go here to this one to the extrude cut stuff and my axis is the Y axis okay you see here it's doing some cuts there in the background and I need six of them You see, hit OK. It's calculating, and now we have perfectly cut out stuff. Now it's time to create some holes. Um, and for that, we will create a sketch on this plane here. So just select in this face, say create sketch, switch here to the front view, and I just place here in center and with a diameter of 24 and I also do a second one with twenty two. Finish a sketch and then we will select the two of the profiles, the inner ones, create one extrude minus two millimeters, okay, and then so 
I just want to see my sketch again because now I just take the inner one, do another extrude with the operation set to cut and I take, oops, not minus 14. Okay. And what we could also do is I, no, I do this later at the class, so no, I'll do it for, uh, already. Uh, then also take two of the profiles and create an extrude. Just push it mm, minus one or no, just minus 0 0.5 don't want to join it, I want to set the operation to a new body and just this one here, name it glass and also name my body to shade maybe it's your body one, depends and the glass, I press the M on the keyboard to move it a little bit and actually I move it 1.5 millimeters and I will give it a glass color later on so I just hide it that you can see it better and before we I need a hole here where the lamp is coming out later on I just switch to the back and also create a new sketch on this face also just draw a circle with a diameter of 18 finish sketch and take the profile and extrude it the inside and take minus 20 it should shouldn't cut yeah so because I want here one millimeter of free that's good okay and we will add our first thread here giving the and we will create a thread I select this face here and now we have a lot of possibilities to create a, a thread. The first thing you check is modeled, otherwise it won't be here in the geometry. It's just would be a preview and you won't see it when you uh, export an STL or something. Then um, check here isometric profiles size it's taking actually the nearest possible size that it finds 18 millimeters fine okay the design when you change here for example when you need more more coils and i need more of them you see what happens you get smaller or bigger coils i'm just trying to uh, the 0 0.75 and I also don't want to have it a full length because we have a 5 millimeter offset and actually the length will be, see it here in the model, it's nearly until to the end, I take it 12 or something, yeah, but we still have one problem so this is fine. Hit OK. So switch off here all my stuff. We don't irritate it too much. Um, actually, we need to cut away here more stuff because uh, otherwise I can't push in the the other the other part. So 
I'm not sure if this, no, it won't work. So we have to, I go here to my sketch number nine and edit it. Because now I need a second um, circle and I take this to 19. Finish sketch. And the reason why I do this because I want to cut away a little bit of material and I take this outer profile. No, this one. Maybe this one is enough. My 18 millimeter. Ah, the, the, um, the thread added me some um, material here, but I don't want that. So I cut this away. Let's try if the, um, the profile of 18 millimeters is, is enough. So I extrude, take that one. And now we extrude it minus five. Okay, operation set the cut. Switch off the stuff here. Now see the thread is starting thicker. Maybe we have to adjust here later on with the 19. I will check here with the when we put the parts together. Maybe I should have taken the 19 millimeter diameters to cut away, but I think that is fine. And last but not least, I need a hole where the lamp goes through, and therefore I'll try another feature, the hole feature. Let me see if this works. Oops. From sketch, multiple holes at point, at which point? It should be exactly in the middle. Yeah, no. No, it's not exactly in the middle. So I go here to the front plane. And I can move the position when I take here the blue point and it snaps here to the middle. And I need more or less five ten is two, so I take six because my lamp is five. So I have one, I have no six. And see, yeah, it goes right through because we just have one millimeter here. That's okay. See that? Now there is space for the lamp or the LED or whatever this stuff is. Good. So we finished the shade. Save your scene and then let's get to the second part. So for the second part, I will move my canvas a little bit. So I'll go here to edit canvas because I want to have my starting point here at the origin. Okay. Then assemble new component. I call this handle. And oh, now I made one mistake because the parent was selected the shade, but I don't want this. I want the parent to be the flashlight. Um, and for that, I just take with the with the left mouse button, I just take the handle and let drop it over the flashlight. Now you see it's going a little bit to the right and 
now it's a child and of flashlight and it's the same hierarchy as shade okay so switch off the shade so that I can concentrate on the handle we'll create of course a sketch here on this plane similar as we did with the shade but as you see we have a lot of going ups and downs and so on actually I will, I will create it a little bit different so just that you get to know um, also different techniques how you can get to the goal but I start similar with um, a line which is 70 millimeters long this is a construction line then from this point um, we create one with eight millimeters then another one going straight through all the stuff we have here this one being 22 then another one with 36 you see here I came up with a little bit other dimensions um, which I took from the original flashlight here and also eight here and from here to here we have them 12 okay um, The middle one, this um, 36 millimeter long, is a construction line uh, similar as we did before. Then we take our line tool, wait until our X with the triangle pops up, so we have the perfect middle point. We draw a construction line of two millimeters. Press X and. Create a line with 16 in one direction and so we get also here a perfect um, shaped angle and as we did it before select both of them with the shift key and we mirror it we have the two already selected the mirror line is this one okay perfectly constrained everywhere and well we will rotate this maybe we when you don't get messed up too much you could also edit the canvas a little bit edit canvas and scale it up so it's quite difficult So now it's a little bit better for you to see how it should look like. Good, then we will create a revolve. Oh, I have to make this not a construction line, sorry. Back here in my sketch, edit sketch, and this one have to be a normal one. Otherwise, the solid won't recognize it as profile. So, finish my sketch, revolve, and we need the. Can I select the axis? Yeah. Hit OK. And now, for example, how you can do this stuff here um, we will offset the plane from this one so select this plane construct offset plane and we will offset this uh, let me see 
13 minus 13 minus 13 millimeters then create a sketch on it of course you have to rotate and then you could for example draw with a diameter of what do we need 8.5 uh, no 17 so with just a little bit of offset finish sketch and when I take the profile here and we have here minus 7 and I change here my operation to join. This would also be a possibility to uh, create some offsets. Yeah. Okay. And we also need it on the other side. So maybe we go down, let me see, now there we have to do a cutout with the, the coil anyway, so we leave that for later. Also here the front part with the thread, so the threading will change the thickness and the material anyway. Um, so we do first the the rails as we did at the shade so I make my sketch visible again and actually you can do it perfectly um, with measurement but actually I just added sketch and um, I do it somewhere here so in design not everything has to be maybe perfect of course uh, you can do perfect positioning and also somewhere here finish a sketch and again split face this is already selected yep and also this one repeat split face select the line okay and then we do our now we do it actually as two times um, and we don't cut it we uh, need the both one we need a cut and we need a new body because this is a, a rubber ring and so we do uh, let me see where's our pipe here's our pipe and now I do it a little bit Thinner, one millimeter is fine, I think, or 1.5. Yeah, 1.5. And be sure that you create a new body. Okay. And I do the same here again. Repeat pipe, everything's fine, except new body. Okay. And then you see rubber one, and here rubber two. And what I do is I copy this one, just press Command C, Command V, um, or uh, control C, control V on Windows. Okay, 
And now I hide my rubber one and rubber two because now I have to cut out the part and I just do it that way so I have, yeah, it's easier actually and don't need to do it a second time. So now we combine two up two bodies. So the target body is this one and the tool body is this one. And now we do a cut. Okay. Actually, we could have done it with keep tools. Let me see if this works here. Uh, when I select touch it body, tool body, and when I say keep tools, what happens? Yeah, this is also a possibility. Okay, just keep the tools. So then it is cut away, but the tool is still there. So I can delete here this one yes delete oh no that doesn't it removes it can I delete this one no then we because it depends on the history so we have to remove it so it's not there anymore but the history is still depending on that stuff okay and now the fun parts will start with that one here. And so this, this pattern here in the middle. And for that, we will create a coil. And with this coil, this will help us to create the structure that we need to create that. So create a coil, then take this plane, the middle point, and we need um, diameter of 19. Oops. Yeah. Maybe we should have used an offset before. Actually, or just because what we need is actually one stuff going through, so but not cutting so much. Um, internal, we take here internal triangle because now you see the kind of cut sex section size. 0. Point. Mm. depends now on how okay it's too not thick enough maybe we need 20 for that so that it's just the uh, yeah it's better you see I'm just playing around a little bit so where I can get the best Cut out. You see here, it's not too bad from the orientation. So when I start from this beginning to Just say height 100, so that's easier for you to do the same. So it's not cutting anywhere else yet. Then we on center, yeah, press OK. Maybe we could even make it a little bit thicker. So edit feature, 
eight six. Yeah, so it's a little bit deeper. Okay. Now I will mirror this and then I will do a rotate pattern. First is create mirror and we don't use faces, we need features and so we need the coil feature. Did it work? No. Maybe bodies. No. Faces? No. Ah, still, sorry. It works. Features, uh, object, now I selected here the coil and the mirror plane, um, I actually, doesn't matter, take this one, okay? And now the fun part, create a pattern, circular pattern, and set the type to features and select with the shift key both of them, the mirror and the coil feature. And the axis will take you the middle axis and the quantity. I'm not sure how many your PC will manage. Okay. So when I go up here to 60, I get a warning, um, too many pattern instances. I, I tried it, the computer is able to do it, but um, you could also um, adjust here the compute option to optimize and I think it will work a little bit better. Be sure that you save your scene before you do this um, because it could crash, okay? Because it's a lot, this is a lot of calculation stuff um, Fusion 360 has to do here. So be aware. You could also, if it doesn't work, um, set the quantity down a little bit to 30 or something. Uh, it's fully fine. Um, my computer just calculated about 20 minutes or 50 minutes. I didn't look at the watch. But um, when I used here the adjust option, now let's see how uh, it works with the optimized option. But be aware, this will take about 50 minutes or something. But let's see. Okay, it doesn't work. <laughs> Go back, edit feature. Let's see if identical will help us. Okay. It's finished. It took about 10 minutes, so it wasn't um, faster or not much faster than the other option. Yeah, but it worked. So we're happy with that. And now we have to add the threads. And um, we have two different threads here. This is a little bit smaller than this one. And so we just, and of course we have to be sure that we take the same thread as we used here for the shade. So thread, I have already selected that. Uh, be sure that you take the model stuff here and uh, that you use the 18 millimeters and we had the um, 0 0.25 and not full length. Uh, we will push in here um, about 3 millimeters and the length of it is 8. And you see the problem that we have, that the height is here too much. So this should actually be cut away. And so we'll use the, the trick here. Uh, but we're happy with the length. And also here we have to cut out some 
parts. So hit OK. And I create a sketch here. Or maybe I take, no, just create a new sketch. Mm -hmm. Just hit the so. We have a sketch already, so now we go to the front. Maybe we rotate this. Yeah. And we need a circle with diameter of 17. Finish sketch and yeah, he checks the profile here. And so we do an extrude, take this outer ring, and we will set it to minus three. And the operation is already set to cut. And see, this is what I want to have. That the thread is higher than the object. Okay, that's important. Then we need another. Let me see if this will work here. Then we take this coil here, uh, not the coil, the profile. Extrude it. We need, I guess, minus two. Oops, not minus three. Operation is also set to cut. Okay. Not too bad. And here on this side, we need uh, also a thread. And this time, 16 is here perfect. And also, we need the 16 and 0.75 modeled, not full length, um, because the length is actually here just five millimeters, but it starts here right at the end. So this is fine. Um, yeah. So we don't have an offset. Okay. And here we need even a little bit more cut out and we don't have a profile that we could use. So I will write here. And I can't use the push pull or any other option. So I create a sketch plane on this and let's this is work now but we will uh, create an offset plane construct offset plane we will offset this one and set it to um, it should be not too much Five. Or maybe we take here, yeah, then we have a better sixty five. And on this plane, 
we create a sketch. And for that, I'm just measuring. We need a diameter of 15. And um, I'm not sure. Yeah, we will create also a second one. Not a right to this sketch. So if this is on, because I used three sketch sometimes, um, I just make it bigger so that everything's going away that I don't need. Um, Seventeen finish sketch, and now I have here my sketch profile, and I extrude that. In the other direction and um, let's see if minus 3 is too much no actually I just need minus 2 because I have a little offset also here um, operation set to cut okay fine here we go. Now we have the coil or the thread three. Then we need a hole for the battery and for that select the front face here. Great sketch. Oops, so and beginning from the middle line um, we will use here diameter of 12 now 13 oops fourteen. Let's take 30. And I create a second one with 12. Because we have a little bit of offset, I'll show you. So take both of the profiles and do an extrude of minus 5. Operation set to cut, fine. And then, so my sketch is away, then just select the inner one and extrude. And we have um, a depth from here of minus 55. So there the battery has place some ah. okay and this is switch off the sketches the canvas this is what we end up with good and here at the front we need actually let me see if we have some sketches I could need. Uh, no, not really. But so this sketch here in the front, this is which one? Sketch 5, I can edit this and just add another circle in it. Um, let's take 
15 and 16 15.5 finish my sketch you could also create a new one doesn't matter I hope it doesn't change anything, no. Um, so, create an extrude of... I don't know what's happening here inside. And how the light is mounted. And I just put me minus 5. Okay. And actually here at the same height, I take the same profile sketch and extrude it again, but now create a new body. Also take minus 5 here. Not join, new body, be aware of that. And I create a little fillet here. 0 0.2 also here of course you can create more fillets um, also at the shade or wherever you want to have it a little bit smoother then I create I use here the the whole tool again, of course I could do it with a sketch, so just select the middle point here, so now I have already my hole in the middle and it should be 5 millimeters. I don't know how deep it should be because the light um, and how the the light is fixed in there so I'm just um, set it for the point here to flat okay and last but not least our lamp and for that I could create actually could I use this profile for something? No. So I need a new sketch anyway. Um, yeah, sketch. I create a new circle and I don't make it 5, I make it a little bit smaller, 4.8. Finish the sketch. Sometimes it would be better to create a new one so that the calculations afterwards aren't. So now I have a profile here and I extrude that in a somehow symmetrical and I check my canvas here because I don't know. Mm, oh, but, mm, about seven, let's take eight millimeters. So it's also going inside, so I don't see it anyway. And what I do is I do one big fillet. How big it's when I have a diameter of um, 4.8, I could make it. Uh, 
two point, of course, the half, 2.4, that I get my perfectly round shaped white bulb. Here we are. So there's my shade. Um, switch off all the sketches. And the last part I will create in fast forward mode because actually you can do it on your own. You know everything from this project, um, but that you get the measurements, I'll build it in front of you. Be aware that you create a new component. I named this button because there is the on off switch here on the back side. You can name it however you like. And I did the same mistake as before. Um, I used this as parent, the, the handle. I don't want this, so just click it and push it here and continue. So let's get started.